The eye is the most complex but important organ in the human body. Not only does it provide us with the sense of sight, it is also a symbolic sensory organ. Good afternoon. My name is Mrs. Sikonze, a master's candidate in the Division of Pharmaceutics in the Faculty of Pharmacy. As the eye can detect illness in a matter of seconds, this warns us as to when we're sick. Ocular rosacea is an inflammation that causes redness, burning, and itching of the eye, affecting patients that have rosacea, a skin condition that affects the face. Current treatment is a topical gel with metronidazole as its key element. As a researcher, I started asking myself, can metronidazole be applied on the eye to specifically treat ocular rosacea? Fortunately, studies have shown that metronidazole may be incorporated in eye medication. This motivated me to work on this area, bring forth a treatment regimen, and provide information as to whether or not it may be applied on the eye. A huge problem that eye medications face is the issue of drainage due to the presence of tears and constant blinking. This affects its rate of release as well as the time at which the treatment resides on the eye. I began to wonder as to how do I ensure that with this treatment, with this treatment regimen, the time at which it resides on the eye is for a longer period as well as there's a sustained release of metronidazole. My research deals with incorporating metronidazole in very small drug carriers called solid lipid nanoparticles for a sustained release of metronidazole and prevent toxicity as a recommended amount of the drug will be loaded. Generally regarded as safe materials will be used to manufacture these particles. In order for the treatment to reside on the eye for a longer period, these particles will need to be mucoadhesive, increasing the viscosity of the treatment, adhering to the eye, as well as reducing the rate of drainage. Therefore, this will reduce the frequency of insulation and improve patient adherence. I hope that future studies are done on this treatment to whether or not ensure that it may be applied on the eye to treat ocular rosacea. This will definitely change the health dynamics as well as place an emphasis on research surrounding ocular drug delivery. Thank you.